Hello. So today, I'm going to be working on my little camper here. Uh, on the inside right here, there's a closet. And I'm going to put some shelves in there. And the problem I'm having, as you can see, this isn't exactly square. So I need to make some templates. And I'll show you what we got going on here. So this is my closet, and yeah, this is just a piece of fiberglass, it's pretty thin, um, and that radius goes back there and all the way down, so the shelves are going to be different sizes. I've already taken the door off, and the door is held on with just this one 2x2, two two, or 1x2, and you can see it's not straight and it should be so I think what I'm going to do is use my cushion it has the radius on there you know this goes in that back corner and I can uh, trace that onto my cardboard cut it and then trim it up best I can and hopefully get uh, four templates cut so we could put these shelves in there uh, when we get to that point, I will show you how I'm going to attach it. Okay. So, I've got my template done. You can see what we got going on there. I got a new piece of wood. This, uh, right here. This is a 1x3. It was the best piece I could find. So... I'm using these uh, shelf brackets and how I did this is I got some of these boards from work, cardboard pieces that go on the bottom of a pallet and I used my cushion right here for the template for that curve. And then I cut it out, and I, I did cut it too small, so I used some blue painter's tape and tape everything back together. And this edge wasn't quite right, so I kind of have blue painter's tape on there as well. I've cut a notch out for that board. There's another board there that I cut that notch out for, and then I had to cut an angle right there. Um, so far, it's going pretty easy, easily. Um, I just have one screw right now um, from the middle hinge holding this uh, piece of wood on there. And then uh, I've got this screwed down on there. So these I got at Home Depot. Uh, they are uh, 10 by 12 inch uh, shelf brackets. Uh, they weren't very expensive. Uh, I think like $3 each. Um, and I'm contemplating, because this is so weak, about drilling a hole through this side so I can put uh, some screws in there just to kind of hold that on there. And I would just need two because I've already got these hinges that'll hold that on. So I'm going to get going on uh, cutting the actual shelf with this bracket and then uh, I may have to do some trimming but uh, we'll get it going. Okay so I've traced out my uh, template on my board. So with, this is what we've got going on. And I did favor it a little bit because I'd rather do a little bit more sanding, but I just traced it out. Uh, I did put some blue painter's tape on the back side. It's going to be the top. This is the bottom. Uh, hopefully that will prevent chip out. So. Let me uh, get repositioned and we'll start cutting.
Okay. Not my best jigsaw work, but we've got this cut out. I've got this radius cut. Uh, I did try to favor the edge of the line over here. And most of it, because I can use my sander to do any final trimming. So, let's take it inside and see if it fits. Well, it does fit. Actually, it fits really well. Uh, I did make a big mistake, though. Uh, this is supposed to be the bottom. That's the, the lighter side that we wanted. But... Bring it in here. So... It's down in there, and that fits down on there, and then I'll bolt, or I'll, I'll uh, screw that shelf onto that bracket, and as I put more shelves on there, I'm going to uh, use probably some 2x2 two two just for the back, just so it has a little bit more support. I'll also put one in down here. But it does fit. See how that goes. I did have to add some more to the end and I did that. I just added an inch, almost an inch uh, from my template. So there's the first one. I'm going to go through and do the same thing on the rest, and when that's finished, we'll uh, take it from there. Okay, I've got all the shelves built. I've got them installed here. And that's what they look like. I do have this extra piece in here, uh, and I'm going to see if I can fit that in there somewhere, but for now, I need to get the shelves screwed onto the shelf brackets. Uh, I did purchase some trim pieces here. I've already got them cut to size, and these will go on the edge, just as a, you know, keep stuff on there. So. We'll head out to my garage and uh, get these uh, glued and nailed into place. Okay, so I did the first one just to see how it was going to go. And it turned out pretty good. Uh, I've got quite a bit of uh, a guard right there. There's a little bit on the bottom. But I think it looks pretty good. So, I'll get started on these others. And what I'm doing is I've got an extra piece and I've got a scrap piece here. I'm setting those down like this. I've got my already cut pieces right here. I have marked all my boards. Okay, and I've cut my pieces, there we go, and I think I'm going to just fast forward through this, just so you can get an idea. Okay, so this is what they look like. 
doesn't look too bad. I still need to uh, mount these or screw these down on the shelf brackets. And what I am using, excuse my mess here, I'm going to be using these screws. And they're not they're not very big and they're completely flat. And this this is the same screw that I put the shelf brackets on as well, so So I think it's probably best if I start from the top and work down and I'll get these uh, other shells pulled out and we'll get started on that. Okay, so I've got them all in there. I did cut this one a little bit smaller just so we have more room down here. And I don't have the door on yet. And you can move them back and forth that way just a little bit in the front. And as I was putting them in, I had these two shelves swapped. Uh, so I, I did take those back off and fix those, but there it is. Okay, so I, I wanted to show you a little bit about the templates that I made. So as you're making these templates, you know, here's the one for the top shelf. Uh, you're going to get a lot of this. And I've already cleaned that up once before. Um, and, and it's a mess in here. Uh, but yeah, as you're doing your templates, uh, have a sharp pencil and a good, sh uh, sharp pair of scissors and you take a little bit off at a time until you can get it how you want. And I kind of have these angled out this way a little bit. So they kind of go in at an angle, uh, just to make make it a little bit easier to get in there uh, except for the top one uh, otherwise they'd all be small like that one so but that's the uh, install of my closet shelves in my casita camper all right guys well that's my install on uh, closets for my little casita camper uh, I know I didn't go into the templates that much. Uh, they're actually uh, pretty easy to make. Uh, they just take a lot of time. So if this is a, a project that you would like to do, I, I would say do it. Uh, it's uh, really worth it. Uh, this is a, a fairly small camper, so any shelves I can get in that closet I don't hang a whole bunch of stuff in there, so shelves were number one on my list. All right, guys, so if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already subscribed, please do so. It really does help. Uh, I have a bunch of other footage that I still need to get to, um, so more videos are coming. If you click the bell icon, YouTube will notify you when uh, I upload a new video. All right, guys, that's it for now. See you in the next one.